in planting your way out of plastic. Hey, we're going to find out how old water bottles are helping make the household plant craze grow more environmentally friendly. Household plants, they are growing in popularity, they are. And millennials are a big reason that they're a blooming success. A 50% jump in sales over just three years means sales are now flowering at almost $2 billion a year. That's just plants I'm talking about. But that has an environmental impact as well because many of the pots that those plants come in can't be recycled. I didn't know that. Jim Averner is the founder of Root Pouch, all the way from the wonderful state of Oregon. Good to see you, my friend. Nice to be here. Jim, come. So he, before we get going, I only learned this today. I, I like plants and potting plants. This is the original. This is the stuff we uh, get. That's not recyclable. No, in fact, they can recycle these, but when they do, they're remelting this down. They need more fresh petroleum, more right. fossil fuel to be put more back energy. into it, to give it back its tensile strength again. So this is old school technology, 1940s. We're using uh, plastic. Okay, that ends so up in the that's landfill. the old technology. Here's the new. You've been going for 10 years. Let's start with this one. Okay. Um, this, you're kidding me, is made no. of that. We take a plastic water bottle now, which was also going to go to a landfill. Yeah. We melt it down to liquid, shoot it through an instrument like a shower head. It comes out. Like this. This, this is are you telling me this is plastic bottle? One hundred percent water bottle. And that is the fiber that goes into this. That's all that that is this here is one hundred percent this or one hundred percent this. So we took this away from the environment that was hidden or destined yeah. to the landfill. Because you did a made a root pouch, you no longer have to make one of these. So all these items do not go to a landfill once you use a root pouch. And this is better for the plant because well, it breathes, right? It's far superior. It, it not only will breathe and give it oxygen and nutrients, it's porous. So it's like a, uh, a, a nurturing environment around a plant rather than a hard plastic. But some will say, this is still plastic though, right? We've still it got is, plastic lying is. around. It is. But that plastic was already here. Right. We didn't create new plastic to, to, to make a, uh, grow a plant. We took existing post-consumer plastic and reused it again. You're flogging these where? We're making these now in, in Asia. You, sorry, flogging. Sorry, that's my, yeah. <laughs> my slang. Flogging means selling. You're oh, selling okay. these. Uh, flogging, that's okay. <laughs> to me, that's hitting people. Oh, flogging flog oh well, that's true. It yeah. is also <laughs> flogging as well. He's got a point. Um, no, where are you selling these? Uh, all over the world. Now, when we started, it was just a little over 10 years ago, we had only one person's competition. We had, now we have over 60 people that are trying to imitate or, or copy right. the, the process. And we're selling in almost every country. Over a million bags a month leave our facility. You're shipping a million bags a month? A million bags You've a month. You've gone from zero in 10 years to a million bags. A million bags. And we're growing. We're doubling in size as we That's speak. Amazing. And you're a family business, only four, own, four yeah, owners? Four owners in the company. What's this going to cost me to buy? Well, the price is going to be almost the same as plastic. The larger you get, the cheaper we get in comparison because... My product is inexpensive, whereas petroleum or fossil fuel is expensive. But I don't know what that's going to cost me, roughly. So give me a ballpark. Well, do we know? If this costs you, if this costs you two dollars, that'll cost, cost you two dollars yeah. as well. So okay. You just figure equal, equal sizes, about equal in price. Do you have a particular faster growth market anywhere at the moment? Around actually, it's everything. Horticulturally speaking, I was a horticulturist for many years, growing trees. And horticulturally speaking, because it gives a better root, a healthier plant, we're seeing a. All the ag departments in the, in the world are recommending it to growers or commercial. But right down to the home enthusiasts, if you wanted to put a plant, uh, grow tomatoes for your kids yeah. in, your, in your garden or in your house, this is going to give you a far superior plant. Talking of kids-ish, does it surprise you that we're seeing this upsurge in the love of plants coming from the young groups, the 18s to 30, 32, 34 years old? Millennials. Uh, yeah, I, I think that while well, they're more interested in the environment, they're more interested in what makes you healthy. They, you know, living a better, healthier. Let's face it, this was not a bad idea in 1940. This yeah. is this is 21st century ideas. This is something that is is helping the environment. And yeah, millennials are coming along, and the younger people. And social promoting. media probably plays oh, a big part, right? Big part, big part. In that too. I mean, I just had a story the other day where a company here in this country was giving people fifteen bucks a, a year to bring plants into the office because it increases increases ah, productivity. Sure, sure. So sure. there you go. Um, and the comp just very briefly, you have got about twenty seconds. There's a lot of competition nowadays for you. There wasn't, but how do you differentiate? 
Well, most of the competition that we're running up against, uh, it will look similar to ours because it's still fabric, but they're using geo, normal geotextiles, which is like the, they were invented for insoles to tennis shoes or clothing or upholstery. That fabric, our, we have our own density, our own weave that will allow oxygen and water to pass through, whereas the other ones that look the same, don't treat the plant the same. They're not as good. Jim and Erna, we really appreciate your time. Normally I'd shake your hands, but we've got this no oh, shaking. No, no, I'm, policy, I, I'm you know, with the you. Whole virus thing. <laughs> but you're not going anywhere. You and I are going to go your country, stateside, to take a look at how Wall Street is faring. And there you can see the markets following suit with the rest of the world. Hey, that's it. I'm back tomorrow. Same time, same place. It's Friday tomorrow. Hoorah. Follow me on Twitter. Tweet me. I'll tweet you back. You can get me a BBC arrow. Yowder's back at the top of the hour. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.